everybody. Welcome back. Third party anamorphic lens. Do <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you guys three times. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite lens of all time, the moment anamorphic. If you're looking to make your short films look as cinematic as humanly possible, then this is the lens for you. It gives you that true widescreen look that you see in most Hollywood blockbusters. You can fake this in Filmic Pro settings, but nothing beats true anamorphic. It increases your field of view by 33%. This is both good and bad. It increases the field of view without causing barrel distortion, what you can sometimes see on the very outside edges of the frame. This happens to me sometimes when I use my 18mm wide lens. It's not terrible, but it is present. Now that's the good news. The bad is that because of the field of view increase, the sharpness of the image kind of takes a hit. Again, this isn't huge, but it is present. But when you think about it, all of Moments lenses create a softer image than what the native lens produces. Glass on glass will do that. Now let's get back to the good, because there's plenty of good. This lens has a special coating on the outer glass that can produce beautiful lens flares. Now you may not know what a lens flare is, but I can guarantee that you've seen it before. I don't think there's a single solitary person in the world that hasn't seen a Transformers movie or Stranger Things. Anyway, you know when you're watching a movie and you see that beam of light stretch across the entire screen and you're like, oh, that looks so cool. This is caused by light directly hitting the sensor. The light is then refracted horizontally by the coating on the glass, hence why it stretches out horizontally on the screen. This, however, is also dependent on how the light enters the lens. You can get lens flares on other lenses as well, but they don't look as good in my opinion. The coating produces a bluish white flare. This also varies on the amount of light entering the sensor. Just gorgeous. All right, that's enough fanboying. <laughs> Let's talk about how you'll use this lens with your video app of choice. This lens works seamlessly with the Moment Camera app as well as Filmic Pro. There are options in both apps to de-squeeze the image in real time. This is amazing because this is usually done in post-production. Yet another reason why I love filming on my smartphone. Now, right when you put the lens on, the image on screen is going to look very strange, but don't worry, that's what the de-squeeze button is for. Once you hit it, it'll stretch it back out to look like normal. This is important because I've seen many negative reviews, not just on moment lenses, but anamorphic in general, because people don't know that they have to de-squeeze in camera. They'll say that the image looks weird, stretched out, they think they got a defective lens when they just didn't know they had to do this one crucial step. I don't want that to happen to you, so that's why I'm saying it. Just remember to do this every time you put this lens on. Now let's just take a minute and see what this baby can do. Pretty impressive, huh? Now, there are other companies that make great anamorphic lenses, many of which I mentioned in the first lens video. Moondog Labs makes a fantastic anamorphic lens that produces a purple hue flare. Not gonna lie, I think I like the look of that one better than the Moment's bluish hue, but I'm already in the Moment ecosystem and it just makes sense to keep all of my lenses Moment, but it has tons of great reviews just like the Moment lens, so you won't go wrong with this one either. The company Beast Grip also makes a great anamorphic lens that goes with their Beast Grip tripod mount. This is what Steven Soderbergh uses when he shoots his iPhone movies, so I'm guessing it's a pretty good product. When I have the money to try all of this other gear, I will definitely do reviews to let you know what I think. Bottom line, this is Moment's most expensive lens, but if you're a serious filmmaker, then it's a no-brainer. You won't be disappointed. And that's the video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified every time a new video comes out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Yeah, I wanna run off and fly. And I tell myself it's fine to